Hey guys, coming back at you from my garage here in Minnesota. I wanted to talk today about the Hilti Neuron batteries, specifically how Hilti is sizing them uh, using a watt hour system versus a amp hour system. So let's just look at the four models of batteries, then what they might be best applied to or the tool they might best made up with. So stay tuned for that. Hopefully you're gonna enjoy this video. Okay, so let's look just real quickly at this old B22 model. This is a three amp hour battery, right? So point being is we are very used to seeing batteries rated as amp hours. That's what made me want to make this video today. Uh, Hilti has gone with the Neuron system in a watt hour rating uh, in their catalog for listing these batteries for size and capacity. They're all 22 volt. The entire Neuron system is 22 volt. They're not abandoning the old systems. However, they're just, they've optimized these batteries in a way that uh, really, honestly, a lot of their competition has not got to the technology that is built into these batteries for durability and runtime uh, and capacity and being able to shed heat and handle vibration. Uh, but for some reason, they're abandoning the amp hour ratings, and I'm not exactly sure why. I have some speculations. But let's just get right into the numbers and what they mean. So we've got four different batteries, each of a different capacity, and the difference would be either more cells or doubles and triple stacks of cells. This is the smallest, most compact battery, 22 volt, 55 watt hour. All the battery ratings are right here on this plate. They're almost impossible to read on a camera. But if you look in the catalog, or if you look on their website, you're going to see this is listed as 622-55. I believe it's a six. I don't know. It's so hard to read even in that labeling. But this is a 22 volt, 55 watt hour. And if you don't know how to do the math on this, watt hours divided by voltage will give you the amp hours. So amp hours equals watt hours divided by voltage. If I do the math on that, it's going to come to 2.5 amp hours. Again, we're comparing it to what we're used to and their old system in a Milwaukee, a DeWalt, uh, you name it. If it, you know, every other battery company is rating batteries in amp hours. Let's just give them a one for one on this. This is 1.2 pounds. It's very compact. If you look at it compared to all other three batteries, it's smaller and it fits really well on a tool like an impact driver. Okay. This is gr a great battery for, uh, working in multi-positions overhead, it's just lightweight. It's going to give you great runtime, but it's not going to be for the most demanding tools. I don't think you're going to put this 55 watt hour in something like a vacuum. It'll work. There's no problem, of course, but it's not going to have the runtime you're going to need for a little more high demand tool. This drill driver, impact driver, multi-tool, things like that. Uh, if you're paying attention, they don't currently have a multi-tool for the Neuron, but they will. I'm sure of it. Um, press tools, things like that. Great size battery for the multi-position where you're kind of, you're more concerned about weight than you are the runtime. Not that you're going to compromise much. I, I can tell you uh, just from the initial use of all the tools I've had so far, runtimes on these are really great. Let's move up though from the 55 watt hour to the 85 watt hour. And if I just stand them next to each other, you can see it is larger. Um, first of all, it's larger because there's an additional cell here. Uh, these little circles just kind of indicate how many cells or where the cells are. Uh, it's just a design feature, but it does give you good reference just for these comparison videos, right? So 55 watt hour, 85 watt hour, you go from 1.2 pounds to 1.7, but you double the amp hour rating in how this works out. So this is complete uh calculates out very closely to four amp hours it's really like 3.8 but where's your rounded up for the sake of this video and just for the sake of comparison uh 3.8 amp hours or four amp hour 85 watt hour and just slightly heavier you got 1.2 and 1.7 so i'm gonna stop repeating myself on that we're gonna move on this to this battery would be still a good fit for an impact driver or a drill, maybe you probably made this up to a smaller, like a three eighths or half impact wrench. Uh, you're still relatively lightweight and compact with the battery. 
you're not going to add a ton of weight over the smaller one, but you're going to get more runtime, which is going to be more convenient, less charging, less going back to the tool crib, that kind of stuff. Um, I think that that's important to note the two, the differences between the two. If you're doing like screws and fasteners, HVAC work, things like that, um, you this small compact battery is going to be great. I'm just going to say that right now, just for the comparison of the two. The die grinder next to it, you're probably going to look at the 85 amp hour or watt, watt hour battery, the four amp, uh, because it's just a little higher demanding or longer runtime kind of tool. You're going to be using that less on off real quick. You're going to be running that for longer periods of time, that kind of stuff. Now let's move on to the 170 amp hour, or I keep saying that, I'm, I apologize, 170 watt hour or roughly eight amp hour uh, battery. Now this 85 and 170, the difference, honestly, the only difference is that they have two stacks of cells now. So you're going to go from that, that almost four amp hour to that almost eight amp hour. I say almost because it's not exact. I think this was like 3.8. I want to say this is like 7.9 or something like that. Whatever. Do the math. You're going to f figure out that this is, that you could call this an 8 amp hour battery. It is 170 watt hours, according to Hilti. Um, this is going to be a better mate to something like a compact rotary hammer, uh, a light, a job site light. Uh, maybe this vacuum right here. This is a nice vac. It's capable of holding the lar all four bat you know all four sizes of batteries on this but you're going to get a considerably more runtime on your higher demand tools once you have that double stack uh you do add weight this is 2.9 pounds and then if you remember that was 1.7 there you go still on the 22 volt platform we're going to go up to three stacks of cells with this one here it's a 255 watt hour or roughly 12 amp hour this is not a battery you're going to probably made up to eat an impact or a drill or a wrench because it's just friggin' big. But this would keep your vacuum running longer. You're going to drill a lot more with an SDS, a uh, chipper, the larger vacuums, the double battery tools like the cutoff saw or the or the uh, jackhammer, stuff like that is going to be where this battery shines because it packs a lot more punch for runtime and power uh, availability. Still the same build, but you're going to go through to three cells versus two versus one, and then the one compact. Now, all of these batteries have some technology built into them. That's what's significant about Neuron. Uh, in addition to the quality and the cells that they're using, how they've built it, They've added technology that with a smart charger or a communicating charger, you, they actually have cellular technology built into some of the chargers. You can monitor these tools like your tool crib operations can see the condition of the battery. They can see how many charges it's been on, you know, through. They can see how often it's getting, being used, that kind of technology built into these packs. You do have to do that. It's a subscription system, although you can access that as a one-man show or, or without paying for the sub subscription, you can get some of that information through an app on a mobile device. But hopefully this is helpful. Uh, I think it's worth just looking at that watt hour versus, you know, com comparing it to or doing the math over to the amp hour and then just kind of showing the difference between what these four batteries were intended to be used. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe button below, uh, share it, do whatever, you know, hit me up in, with the questions if you have any for me. I'm just trying to share this information. Hilti did send me these tools and I'm very thankful for that, but I have been starting to use them slowly in my plumbing heating operation. And I will tell you my honest opinion is that they are very impressive. Um, they're also very new for me, so I haven't had a lot of time on them, but uh, I appreciate your honest feedback on these videos. I'm, I'm not trying to sell you anything here at all. Just trying to share information. And again, thanks to Hilti for uh, sending these out and educating us on, you know, the technology built into them. And I'm just thankful to share it. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.